order the final item of business today is a member's business debate on motion number 3622 in the name of Bill Butler on Drumchapel is top of the table. This debate will be concluded without any question being put. Would those members who wish to participate in the debate please press the request to speak button and I call on Bill Butler to open the debate. Thank you, Presiding Officer. It gives me great pleasure to bring this motion before Parliament today because quite simply Drumchapel Table Tennis Club has been an asset to the area I am proud to represent, and it has been an asset for nearly two decades and has proved itself consistently uh, successful both on and off the court. It is more than a sports club and has put Drum Chapel on the map for all the right reasons. And I am sure colleagues will join me in welcoming members of the club to the gallery. Uh, and I, know that, um, I know that earlier today, presiding officer, several of us uh, took the opportunity to put our uh, skills against them on the table in the Parliament gym. And on behalf of the Parliament, can I thank them for going easy on us. Um, with over, over 400 members, uh, Drumchapel Table Tennis Club is one of the largest clubs in Britain, if not the largest, and also lays claim to being the most successful. Over the last 12 months alone, it has qualified for the elite ETTU Cup, seen head coach Terry McLernan win the Sunday Mail's Local Hero Award, and only last weekend as um, we saw from last night's Evening Times, take seven out of a possible 13 titles at the Scottish National Championships. The club will also provide several players to Scotland's squad for the Commonwealth Table Tennis Championships being held in Glasgow uh, during May of this year. However, titles and trophies only testify to part of the club's success. Thousands of members have passed through the club since it was set up in 1989. While some have won national or regional titles, others have found a sense of belonging and purpose, forged firm friendships, learned about the benefits of a healthy lifestyle, and experienced at first hand the advantages of working together with others in the community. The club's great strength lies in its commitment to catering for players of all ages and all abilities, ensuring that they get the most out of their participation in the sport and membership of the club. Its facilities are available seven nights a week, and no one no one who walks through the door is left out. A coaching structure is in place which enables the more experienced players to gain a Level 1 coaching certificate and pass on their skills to the juniors. The club receives a grant uh, from the West of Scotland Table Tennis Association for coaching. This is used in part to provide a training camp for the elite players with an experienced international coach. The club provides a safe and organised environment for its members. There has been very little of any trouble reported within the club over the years because members themselves exercise an informal yet disciplined approach. Care is taken to ensure that young children and those living outside the area are transported home late at night. In short, they look out for one another. The success of this approach has been acknowledged by Strathclyde Police, who view it as a great asset in tackling antisocial behaviour uh, wherever it occurs in the area and surrounding areas. Importantly, it also serves as a vehicle for members to see the world outside of Drumchapel. Visits to other clubs and competitions, both at home and abroad, become events. Teams enjoy extended weekend visits, often staying overnight in a new city, learning something new about these different locations and different cultures. Over the years, the club has visited France, Germany, Holland and Belgium, and has twinned with the Amiens Table Tennis Club in France, resulting in regular exchange trips. Those players who are unable to pay for their own travel are supported by other members to ensure that they do not miss out. In addition, the club has rolled out its pioneering school programme and breakfast clubs in tandem with Drumchapel Life to 14 schools in Glasgow's West End, bringing the sport and the advantages of a healthy lifestyle to a new generation. The establishment of the only primary school league in the country has fostered a real sense of competition and pride tapping into the enormous potential of the area's young people. Teachers frequently tell of the positive spin-offs of this involvement. Pupils who take part have improved attendance and attainment at school, show a greater alertness in class, and use the sport as a way of expressing themselves and their innate abilities. Partner agencies such as Drumchapel Live, Glasgow City Council and Culture and Sport Glasgow have all realised the club's potential and have come on board with sponsorship and support. Praise must also be given to local business Skyform and its owner Jim Campbell, himself a Drumchapel boy, for its long-standing financial commitment to the club.
This support has allowed the club to push on to European level and is a fine example of business putting something back into the communities in which they operate. And it must also be said that none of this success would have been possible without the drive, commitment and infectious enthusiasm of one individual, and that's the head coach, Terry McLernan, who joins us in the gallery this evening. Terry eats, sleeps and breathes table, table tennis and his club in particular. He possesses that rare ability to see potential in even the most difficult of situations, and the club could have no better or more passionate advocate. I am pleased to inform the Chamber that, impressive though the club's resume may be, it has no intention of resting on its laurels. With the 2009 Commonwealth Table Tennis Championship almost upon us, and the Commonwealth Games themselves heading for Glasgow in 2014, it is imperative that both local and central government ensure that thriving and highly successful clubs, such as Drumchapel Table Tennis Club, continue to grow and prosper. If we are serious as a parliament about ensuring that communities are able to take advantage of the legacy of such sporting events, we must ensure that clubs like this are at the very core of this parliament's strategy. And I hope that the minister will agree that Drumchapel Table Tennis Club ticks all the boxes in terms of social inclusion, sporting achievement, promoting healthy lifestyles and providing value for money. It stands as a model for genuine community engagement and there is a strong case, Minister, to be made for government support to allow it to roll out its schools programme across the rest of Glasgow and beyond. I also hope the Minister, Presiding Officer, will give serious consideration to coming along with me to visit the club and to witness firsthand the life-affirming work being carried out in Drumchapel. And let us look together at ways in which the Scottish Government can support a genuine Scottish success story. In conclusion, presiding officer, may I once again commend all of those involved in the club for all of their hard work and achievements. I thank them on behalf of the Parliament for putting Drumchapel at the very top of the table. You know, we now move to the open debate, speeches of up to four minutes. Uh, Bill Kidd, followed by Bill Aitken. Uh, thank you very much, Deputy Presiding Officer, and I very much congratulate Bill Butler for having secured this members' debate here tonight on behalf of Drumchapel Table Tennis Club and its celebration of 20 years as a focal point for sport in the northwest of Glasgow. Uh, Drumchapel Sports Centre has been an exemplar for the sport of table tennis in Scotland with players travelling from across Scotland due to the first-class coaching there. And this, as Bill Butler has said, has been in great part due to the dedication, hard work and passion for the sport of Terry McLernan, who since the 80s has worked to ensure the development of table tennis as a core activity in Drumchapel. <coughs> Pardon me. It's people like Terry who have driven sport across this country over the years often without the level of support which their dedication has deserved. And I believe that we all want to see that situation addressed sooner rather than later. Where I believe that the legacy of Glasgow's 2014 Commonwealth Games will come into its own will be to combine this established coaching, uh, such as Terry provides, with a robust infrastructure for sport at the local level. Now, this can be achieved through the development of a network of community sports hubs across Scotland, as has been proposed, and this will bring sport in Scotland fully into the 21st century. Drumchapel Table Tennis Club is an example uh, here which I believe should be followed. Now, we cannot, indeed, we do not all aspire to be Commonwealth Games champions. However, at whatever age, at whatever ability level, Drumchapel Table Tennis Club has shown that the taking part is what it's really all about. And if you happen to become a champion due to your inherent skill and the sheer hard work that that takes, then you will also be a role model for others in your community. And that in itself is a reward worth seeking. I recently visited the sports centre at Scotson near my home and was very impressed by the ongoing developments taking place there with a view to the Commonwealth Games in 2014. 
but I was even more impressed by the friendly, hard-working staff and by the high level of usage of fellow Glaswegians, one of whom is not myself um, as yet, but it will be. And I believe that many of these fellow Glaswegians have been greatly encouraged by the champions from local clubs, such as from Chapel. Now, the Commonwealth Games will come and they'll go, as these events do. But the legacy should be facilities which ensure that Scotland will lose the sick man of Europe tag through our citizens, young and old, taking regular exercise. And if it's done in the form of organised sport, as with Drumchapel Table Tennis Club's membership, then so much the better. That is what we should aspire to. It's taking part, it's doing our best, and I believe that all Scots will support that approach, and that is what has been demonstrated by Drumchapel, and I thank them very much for that. Thank you. Bill Aitken to be followed by Frank McAbeeteen.